What's up guys? It's Eric from Yoka Her Skateboards. Back again at Chino Hill Skate Park. Brian Early, nobody's here. Um, we actually got a comment in one of our videos because um, I, I think I suggested in a couple of videos if there's any obstacle you guys have a question about at a skate park or at the skate park we're at that you want me to skate or kind of break down how to skate it if maybe it's an obstacle that you haven't attempted to skate. Um, then I'll kind of break it down and kind of show you how I approached the obstacle or how I approached it when I first started. So today we're going to be talking about the pyramid. So the pyramid right here. So it's not the pyramid you'd see in Egypt. Um, it's more of a bank that meets in the middle at the top of a flat surface. So these are really cool obstacles. Um, this one is placed kind of awkwardly at this park because the pyramid kind of lines up with that quarter pipe. So if you're too far on the right, you'll hit that little edge. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, they did their best when they designed it a while back. But yeah, a lot of parks have these. They're also called hips because um, it's kind of like a hip part where you can kind of go from this side to that side. There's a lot of versatility with the pyramids. You can skate it. Uh, I've done tricks over the side. I've done tricks over the top. Um, they're really fun. There's a lot of stuff you can do. And um, I'd say most modern skate parks now will have a pyramid of some sort. So it's they're one of my favorite obstacles. And when you see them at skate parks, some of them will be steeper and some of them will be a little bit more mellow. This one is more of a mellow uh, pyramid. A lot, and what I mean by steeper is Right here, say if I'm gonna go over the top, it's gonna be a lot higher. Um, and that, sometimes I prefer a little bit more of a steeper of a pyramid because you can really snap the tricks if you're skating from like, say if I'm skating this side to this side, I'm doing a backside flip. This pyramid, you have to try a little bit more to kind of do flip tricks on the side, just because it doesn't come to like a definitive point right here. Um, most of them don't. Some do at some of the older parks I've skated, but this just isn't that steep. So you're essentially looking at it as if it's like a ramp, almost like a launch ramp. So if we come over here, it's you're going to go up and see how it's kind of like not really coming back at me too much because it doesn't have that steepness. So what you have to do when um, you don't have such a defined point on it is you have to kind of give a little bit more effort, crouch down a little more and really snap your trick. And you have to do it kind of early too, because I'm not gonna want to do it late. If I try to do a trick up here super late, it's gonna throw me off or shoot me too far. And it's just, I'd say the one thing about these when you're learning to skate them is the timing. So today I'm gonna teach you guys how to ollie the top of the pyramid. So this whole surface right here, we're gonna go from here to here, from there to there. And I'll show you where I like to ollie at and um, how I approach it, how much speed I'd recommend. And um, yeah, just gonna break down all of the um, essential, uh, essential parts of skating a pyramid for your first time. And who knows, maybe I'll throw in some fun tricks on there too. So on this next clip, I'm gonna just be uh, showing you guys what I'm explaining right now, the ollie. I'm gonna do it from both sides and you'll see the speed and you'll see where I'm snapping the ollie and then we'll get into the breakdown.
All right, so there were some clips. Um, I did some ollies this way, some ollies that way, a little early grab, a power slide, a little back 180, just to kind of show you how you can utilize this obstacle. So let's get into it. So at this park, I like to drop in from that side more. It seems like you get more speed from that side. The quarter pipe that I was starting at is a lot higher than that one, it's probably like by a foot but it just feels a little bit more natural for me. I think because when I learned how to ollie this, um, I started from that section. So I'll drop in. I'm not gonna push on this flat, um, the flat area. It seems like it's enough speed. Sometimes you could roll into it too if you want a little bit more speed, get a little higher. So I'm gonna just drop in. It seems like it's enough speed. I didn't uh, have any trouble getting over the top. So as I'm coming up, I'm looking at the front of my board. So drop in, I'm coming, good enough speed. And right about, once I see my front wheels almost about to hit this little line right here, that's when I'm gonna go and snap the ollie. So if you guys aren't comfortable with the ollies, we've done a couple videos on how to ollie. So just go ahead and check those videos and then uh, get that down and then come back to this video. Or if not, you just wanted to learn about this, continue watching, we appreciate both. So right when my front wheels are about here, that's when I'm gonna snap my tail, push my foot forward, and initiate the ollie. So you're essentially ollieing from here, and it's gonna carry you with the momentum on that ollie, and then you're gonna land. And the landing is pretty much the same as We've done breakdowns on how, how to roll down a bank. Like when you're learning how to drop in, we suggest using a bank because you can get the motion of going down to slant surface without um, using a, kind of like a quarter pipe. So you can kind of just get the feel for it, get the feel of momentum going down something on a skateboard to get comfortable. Um, what's really fun about this um, is you can also, after you start getting the ollie down, you can start doing flip tricks over the top, which that is a little bit more difficult. Um, I haven't done flip tricks over this in a long time. I'm sure I can get a kick flip and front pop and a couple tricks, but um, once you start skating pyramids a lot more, you'll get a lot, lot more comfortable. Um, me personally, I like skating the sides. I like doing tricks on there. I've done a lot of trick tips on there, like front big spins. I think we've done backside flip and just a couple other flip tricks on them but the pyramid is a really good useful tool to kind of help sharpen like kind of uh, some aspects of like flip tricks, I'd say, as well as at this park, it's mostly transition and then they have the pyramid in here. So what's cool is you can uh, start a line from over there, go maybe ollie over this, hit a trick, go into that wall, hit some grinds, come around, hit the little quarter and just keep flowing. So, um, <laughs> If you wanna be more versatile in park skating, I would suggest give, I wouldn't say give every obstacle a try. If there's some obstacles that maybe you're not ready for, I wouldn't just jump into them, but build your skills up. And I feel like the pyramid is a great way to do that. Um, I've skated it for a long time. It's one of my favorite, at this park is my favorite spot to do flip tricks is right here on the on the pyramid. It almost gives you a little bit more time to get in the air, but uh, there is an addedness or added hardness to it because uh, say if I'm doing a backside flip or anything where I'm gonna be going fakie, I'm gonna have to land the trick and go backwards. But the more you do it, the more you get comfortable. So yeah, that's the ollie on a pyramid. Um, like I said, your skate park might not have a, a pyramid similar to this, could be steeper, could be a lot more mellow, but that's just kind of how I approach it. Um, I would say the most important thing about this would be the speed. So make sure you're going fast enough um, and you can kind of gauge that by dropping in from one side or getting a lot of good pushes in and just making sure you get, at first you don't have to ollie it. Just with that, drop in, have a lot of speed, you can roll on the top, get comfortable, go down the other side. But the one thing you just don't want to do is you don't want to ollie too early or too late. Um, and say if I ollie too early, so I'm going to be going, going, everything's fine. And then right there is not what you want to do. So you don't want to have your front of your board on the bank and then the back of your board still on the top. Cause when you land like that, the momentum 
is just gonna stop and your body's gonna go forward. I've done it, um, trying to do flip tricks over it, thinking I'm gonna land it, land right here. It's not fun. So definitely um, wear a helmet, pads, all that kind of stuff when you're learning. Get more comfortable, you can use your own discretion. I'm not gonna tell you what to do because obviously I'm not wearing it, but I should probably. <laughs> but yeah, that's one thing just, and that's called casing it. That's what we've always called it. Like, it's just like, you don't get over it all the way and you can get away with that for a little while. Um, but one day, just like how I talk about doing rock to fakies, some people when they learn them, they don't lift up when they're going back to fakie and their wheels just kind of roll over the coping. You can get away with it for a little bit, but let me tell you, you'll get caught up and you'll remember when you get caught up. Um, but yeah, that's the breakdown of the pyramid. Um, yeah, just like to say thanks to everybody that has continued supporting us, whether it be purchasing stuff on the website, uh, following us on Instagram, um, commenting on our videos, following us on YouTube as well. And um, yeah, we just did a giveaway. So there's gonna be more giveaways coming. So you're gonna wanna stay in that loop. And the best way to do it is follow us on Instagram, uh, follow us on YouTube have that post notification on so whenever a video goes live you're gonna be informed um and you'll be you know some of these some of these giveaways all we ask of you is tag a couple people on an instagram or we'll have like a secret word to comment in a youtube video so it's not too hard uh, i'd say the hardest thing is just knowing when they're gonna be but it's pretty easy when you have the notification bell on you'll get a notification on your phone computer whatever that Yoka her has dropped a new video. So you gotta, you're gonna wanna keep an eye out for that. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, it helps us out. Throw us a like, that helps us as well, because we really like making this content for you and the more support we get, the more videos we can make. So uh, just hope everybody's having a, a good weekend, good day, good night, good morning, whenever you're watching this and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. We have new videos coming out every week. And if you have any requests for any other future videos, you know where to find us.